Good evening, I'm Mateus. Welcome to my, sh to my lightning talk about low latency GP GPU and issues. And this is gonna be basically a five minute intro and investigation on the world of very fast GPU calculations. So just a disclaimer, these findings reflect the point of view of somebody who's only dealt with CUDA as like a G uh, graphics compute API. I'd love to experiment with other APIs, like perhaps Vulkan or Direct3D, but this would require more time put into this presentation. So take these findings with just a light grain of salt and the fact that they only run NVIDIA hardware. Perhaps you can offer me some hardware, some extra hardware to play with. Who knows? But to the core of the talk. I work at Native Instruments, which is a company that develops VSTs, which are audio plugins that people use to synthesize audio, process audio, and do all sorts of cool things in the audio industry, basically. And for a while, we've been asking ourselves, like, GPGPUs have so, much, like, so many latency issues, or at least that's the common wisdom, like calling the GPU functions or the kernel six time, moving memory around, especially because of a PCI Express bus, takes a lot of time. The GPU driver also takes its sweet time when it wants to like, try to optimize things for you. And this has been the common wisdom, at least in the audio industry so far. And I'm here to tell you that basically everything you know is wrong about this. Turns out you can actually do low latency stuff on the GPU even in the auto domain. And I have about four minutes, actually the presenter is telling me I have three minutes to tell you why. So we've basically come to, ten, to more than 10 years of GP GPU since CUDA was first introduced in either 2006 or 2007. APIs have gotten much slimmer since then. The GPUs themselves have gotten faster, and PCI Express naturally, like the bus that communicates between the CPU and the GPU, has also gotten faster. But most importantly, drivers also have become much faster. Not joking, two weeks ago, NVIDIA introduced in their control panel a latency called like, ultra low latency mode. And I'm sorry for the NVIDIA guys out here, like, I know this only applies like, to graphics and to other APIs and not compute, but at least this shows that there is a manifest desire for low latency computations and like, low latency interfaces between the processor and like graphics architectures. Also, the fact that latency by itself is kind of relative. Different kinds of computational problems have different latency requirements. You may accept that like it takes days or weeks or even years like to do protein folding simulations. It takes like some hours to do weather simulations. And in an early CUDA report, I recall reading that some comp like some military industry in the US was even using GPUs to do radar signal convolution, like to use them as like signal detectors for incoming aircraft and like spaceships. Video games are a harder problem because they have a lower latency requirement and so more even more so for audio processing. So here I'm gonna tackle the issue of audio processing, which has a lower latency requirement, usually, depending on the frame size, than video games themselves. And for this, for this experiment, I'm gonna demonstrate a simple FM synthesizer. For those who don't know, FM is a kind of like music generation algorithm that, modu like that modulates signals coming into oscillators, and it sounds more or less like this. So there is definitely still a following to this algorithm, especially in like more trance or like dance music communities. But anyways, I'm here to tell you about a small experiment that I did implementing an FM synthesizer in the GPU. The two test subjects are this computer, which has an older Kepler GPU, and my office workstation, which has a Pascal GPU. And turns out the results were actually surprisingly positive, like measuring at the worst case scenarios, which means like the lowest, like the actually the highest latencies it could ever get. Turns out that with a reasonable buffer size of like 128 samples per buffer, you can get, like you can get even 96 kilohertz audio. And now for a quick demo. So hopefully I have some time to demonstrate it live. Let's see if it goes. Of course, this doesn't sound like much, but we can also randomize the patch. And you quickly see that the problem with FM is that you get a lot of noise very easily. But at least all of this is running on the GPU. So that's basically it for my presentation. Thank you. And go do something awesome with a GPU of yours.